Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net, uh, Madden 15 here on the PS4, and this is the connected franchise with the Indianapolis Colts. This is episode 18, and we are in week 17. Yes, finally the last week of the regular season, and we are getting ready here for this game here that we have on the road against the Tennessee Titans there in Nashville. As you see, the Colts are 15-0 for the season. And the Titans are 7-8, and eight, and I believe currently are in second place here in the AFC South. So, uh, their chances of a uh, playoff berth is, well, not going to happen as the Colts have uh, want, took them to the division there and have home field advantage here as they go into the playoffs here. So, We'll see here. Uh, now, of course, of course uh, you know, a lot of people have been wondering here lately if Coach Tay Bonds is going to regress his starters. And for the most part, he said, for the time being, it just depends on how the, uh, you know, how the game is all about. Uh, depending on how they score and how tough their offense is and, uh, and so on and so forth. He says that uh, they're going to have to see what they can do. So, there you see, uh, we got some, uh, there were some signings there that we didn't get. But uh, we take a look at the standings right here, and we'll take a look here. I believe the Colts and the Cardinals are both tied uh, there with the perfect record, 15-0. and 0. Uh, Now we're just going to go through here, and there you see, like I said, the uh, actually the Titans are fourth place there, uh, with the Texans being 7-7-1. Seven, seven, and one. Uh, There you see the Jags there, 3-12 and 12 there. But, uh, yeah, we are, uh, you know, pretty much got the division there. You see the Chiefs got their division. And, then, of course, the Chargers and Broncos are both in the wall card. Packers uh, look like they're going to have to battle with the Bears there for that top spot there in the north. Um, and let's see here in the uh, NFC South, there you see the Panthers uh, clinch that division there. They're going to move on into the playoffs. And then you see the Eagles there in the NFC East, who we actually played quite a bit this year. Uh, Eagles will get that division. And then the Cardinals there, you see, like I said, 15-0, just like us. So we got two teams, which is very rare seen in the NFL being perfect going into the last week here. Possibly going, uh, you know, being having a perfect regular season. So we'll see here. There you see the uh, injuries there for the Titans. Of course, uh, we've been, thankfully, and, uh, been thankful that we have not had any uh, injuries here. This season, there you see Nate Washington, one of the key receivers that we don't have to worry about this week. He has a broken thumb. He'll be out for four weeks. Yeah, his season's done. But, uh, yeah, uh, we're thankful that we don't have any injuries uh, going to this game. And uh, everybody's been healthy. So we'll take a look here. There's a schedule there for the Titans there. And uh, there you see the uh, last time they lost was against the actually Texans there. But last time they faced us was back in week four. They lost to us 41 to 10, and I'm sure this is going to be a, even a tougher game than the first time we met here in the game. Of course, there you see Andrew Luck, 313 yards, two touchdowns in that game. Richardson, uh, 83 yards, two touchdowns there for him. Uh, we'll see what else. Uh, we got some receiving here. Um, a cluster was actually had a pretty good game, but there you see Nate Washington, six receptions, 148 yards. And one touchdown, of course, he will not be in this game. So that's going to be a big factor there when it comes to the receiving here. And we'll take a look at their defense there. You guys can pause the numbers, check those out from last episode or for that last game, last time we played against them. Or you can check out the episode from that uh, game. So uh, there you see here, there's LP Field <clears throat> there and uh, here in Nashville as we're taking on the Texans or uh, the Texans, the Titans here. So there you see Coach Teddy Bonds. He is happy. Uh, of course, his goal is to get to the Super Bowl. And, of course, uh, being, you know, if we were undefeated this season, that's uh, great. That's awesome. That's not the goal that we were reaching. But we'll take it. As you see there, T.Y. Hilton getting ready for this kickoff here against Brett Kern. And there you see his numbers there. So let's get this kicked off here as we here kick off uh, here this last game of the regular season. There you see Andrew Luck, 4,515 yards, 43 touchdowns, and 13 Interceptions for him. He has had an MVP type season, and he looks like he's going to be a lock for the MVP uh, title there for the NFL. There you see Trent Richardson, he'll run, and uh, there you see he'll get a nice run there. That's going to be a short gain on that play. Second and five now, ball in 32 yard line. 
We'll see you in their eye formation once again. This is going to be a play action here. It looks like we're going to go to Allen once again, who's just been clutch for us this season. Nice catch there. That's going to be a first down. Ball now near, near midfield again. Play action play, same play, but this time reversed. And, oh, Wooden catches that one. The, uh, the defender there for the Titans catches that one, and that's going to be an interception. That will be Lux, 14th of the season. As you take a look at now, Jake Locker, 3,183 yards, four touchdowns, and 12 interceptions there. Had a pretty rough year here, and we'll see what he can do here in the last this uh, last game of the regular season. So the ball at the 46-yard line here. Titans get the ball here early we'll off that interception, and we'll see here. The Locker will have to shake one player off, and, but yet he cannot shake off Chapman, who's just been a dominant figure here in the defense this season. He gets his first sack of the game there. We'll take a look at the replay. Nice uh, hustle there, but uh, I think Locker should have moved his feet a lot more. He should have definitely uh, ran for some yards there, but uh, could not. So third and 17 now, ball on the 39-yard line. We'll see Locker. He'll look. He'll drop back, and he's going to fire this one deep, and that's going to be batted down from Butler. But wait a minute. We have a flag on the field. Coach Teddy Bonds looks like he is frustrated, and I think it might be his off or defensive line there. It looks like roughing the passer there. That's going to be an automatic first down, and that's going to be a 15-yard penalty on there on Hughes. So Coach Teddy Bond is going to have to talk to Hughes about his aggressiveness on the field. First and 10 now for the Titans here. As we'll see here, 46-yard line, McCluster runs that one for a short game there, and that's going to be a second and about well, probably second and eight. Now third and seven now, ball in the 43-yard line, Locker and them are going to have to try again here. Try to convert. Last time they got lucky by a penalty. But nice tackle there. And a sack there by Chapman. Again, this second sack in this ball game. And there you go. Again, he has been on fire this season. Wrapping up the quarterbacks there and taking them down like the big man should. So we'll see how they'll be forced to punt here. We'll see another play action play here from Luck. Nice pass there to Allen who gets that one. And that's going to be a first down ball on the 33-yard line here. First and 10 now for the Colts here, and they'll hand off to Richardson, get his number called, and he will get a short run there for about eight yards on that play, making it second and two. Now here at the ball, 40-yard line here, eye formation once again, and of course that is a run formation there that Colts love to use. Nice run right there for Richardson. As that's uh, three now, three carries now, 25 yards for him, and that's going to be a first down here. For the Colts. So we'll see the replay here. Nice run there from Trent Richardson as he moves that ball. And he's been moving that ball very well there on the ground this year. Uh, we'll see Luck here. He'll get the rifle that one to Reggie Wayne late there. And Wayne will catch that one for a nice gain there of six yards. So nice play there from Reggie Wayne, especially a nice play from Luck getting that ball off at the last minute. Third and one now, ball in the 39 yard line here. Just uh, run down the play clock here, and Luck decides to call his own number. He'll scramble, and he will slide there. I believe that was supposed to be a pass play, but or I believe it was supposed to be a run play, but uh, end up being a pass play, and Luck decides just, hey, you know what, I'm just going to run it myself and get the first down. So first and 10, ball on the 35-yard line here with 2.43 left here in the, in the first quarter here. Richardson's number's getting called, and he will get tackled there behind the line. He'll lose about, or actually he'll gain about a yard there. And that'll be second and nine for the Colts. So now second and nine here. We will see it's going to be a deep pass play here. Luck's going to change it up here. Some He sees something in the defense that he does not like. He'll scramble. He'll heave this one to Nix. Nix gets a nice catch right there. That's going to be a catch of 15 there on that play. And that's going to be first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line there. As we'll see the replay, nice play right there from Nix. Now, ball in the 19-yard line here with a minute 30 left here in the first quarter. Luck, again, sees something he does not like. He's going to change it up here some. And we'll see. Uh, yeah, again, he's seeing something he does not like, and he wants to get rid of it. So he decides to throw there. He throws the Knicks once again. He gets a nice catch right there. Gets inside the five there. The ball is now placed at the four-yard line. First and ten. Now, ball on the four yard line here it might be a nice run play here a nice uh little draw play which it is that's a nice little play there and that gets richardson in there unfortunately not in the end zone so after the first quarter here 
There's no score as the Titans and Colts are playing a very tight game here on defense here. So far, a good game. So now third and goal here. We'll see Richardson's number called, and he will get in there in the opening seconds here of the second quarter here. Richardson will get in there, and that will be his 30th touchdown that he's had this season. And, of course, now he has uh, definitely blown that record up here by two, beating LaDamian Thomas's record, uh, which was just set back just a couple of years ago. So you see seven carries, 30 yards, and one touchdown for Richardson. Now first and 10 here, the Titans get the ball back here at the 35, and that's going to be a short game for McCluster. You see five carries, 13 yards for him in this ball game so far. We'll see the replay, and again, defense doing a good job here wrapping him up because he can be a monster if he gets unleashed here in the open field. So now third and two here, ball on the 43-yard line for the Titans. It's going to be a handoff to McCluster once again. McCluster bounces off three defenders, finally getting tackled and wrapped up there, and he will not he will not be able to convert for the first down. We'll see the replay there, and he is just a beast. Like I said, you cannot get him on the open field. If you do, well, that's pretty much a ball game. First and goal, or first and ten here. Ball on the 20-yard line for the Colts. That's going to be a nice pass play there, a little dump pass there to Richardson. But unfortunately, that does not go anywhere as that puts him right back at the line of scrimmage there. Second and ten. Ball for the Colts here on the 20-yard line. So now we'll see here. This is going to be a play-action play once again. And, of course, you know who's going to go to. He's going to go to Allen right there. Nice catch right there. Nice pass by uh, Andrew Luck to Allen on that one. That's going to be a first down. So now 550, le or, yeah, 550 left here in the uh, second quarter here. Look like it's going to be a nice running play here for Richardson. Hand off to Richardson. He gets some good blocking here. He tries to get around that one. Then he gets a little stutter step there, and he'll get tackled there at the 46. That is a gain of about uh, seven on that play. So now Luck again now throws here to Reggie Wayne there. Nice pass play. That's going to get them a first down. That's going to move the chains. Ball and 39-yard line here for the Colts here. Again, Luck sees something, and he's thinking about changing the play. Run the clock down here. The uh, And then nice plays right there. He throws to Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne gets in the open field there before he is tackled there at the 10. And there you see the numbers there. 10 of 11 of 133 yards there for Andrew Luck, who's just, again, having a great MVP season. Wouldn't be surprised if he is. The MVP. First and 10 here. Ball on the 10 yard line here. Richardson, he'll get his number called and he will lose uh, two yards on that play. Uh, make that third, three yards on that play. Make it second and 13. Now, it's third and two, they get back here after a nice pass play. We'll see the ball on the two yard line here. Richardson gets his number called. He's trying to muscle his way in there and uh, he could not get in there. He will get tackled. He'll just get about a yard, maybe a yard and a half on that play. And it'll be fourth and one, and they'll have to kick for a field goal. And the field goal is good. So after uh, just now going inside the two-minute mark here in the second quarter, it is 10-0. Colts lead this one. As you see, the head coach there of the Titans is very upset with himself and with his team of how they've been playing. So with a minute 55 left here, we'll see them get the ball at the 26-yard line. Uh, right will get that pass from Locker. And that's going to be a nice catch right there. Third and six now. Ball on the 29 here. And we'll see Locker. He'll drop back. He'll fire. And he'll throw through McCluster. Nice pass play right there to the halfback there. And he's just shy of getting the first down by a yard there. Fourth and one. They'll be forced to punt the ball here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Now, ball on the 20-yard line here for the, t for the uh, Colts here. They'll get a nice run right here. Trying to run down this clock here as we're just getting just uh, about a less than a minute here from ending the first half here. Nice pass play there to Allen who get the first down and will move the chains there and call for a timeout there. And that will be a timeout for the Colts here as they still lead it now. 10 nothing here going and to get ready for the second half. So now 41 seconds left here. First and 10 here. Colts have one timeout left. Luck's going to look like he's going to try to throw this one deep. He does. And Wayne does not is unable to catch that one as he drops that one. I think he's more worried about getting hit than getting the catch. So now third and 10 here. Again, the Colts want to try to go deep. They want to try to score here before the end of the half here. 
And we'll see Reggie Wayne. He'll catch that one. That's going to be a nice first down. And that's going to be a force them to call another timeout here. As they have no more timeouts. And with 22 seconds left here, they got to come up with some kind of play here to get them in the end zone. So first and 10, ball in the 29-yard line. Luck, he'll look. And he's going to fire. He fires that one. And uh, Cinebosh, uh, I'm not sure if that's his name or not. But he'll get that one. And that will be an interception right there. That is a killer right there. Momentum for the second half. As the Titans get an interception there. Luck, as you see there, looking for his uh, quarterback's coach there to see what went wrong on that play. And we'll see here. He gets run out, uh, chased out of bounds there. And that's going to be momentum now for the Titans here to score before the half. So here we go. 14 seconds left here in the second quarter here. Ball at midfield. We'll see here. Locker, he'll drop back. Hughes is going to track him down. He throws him a cluster, and McCluster ends up going out of bounds there. And McCluster will only get three yards on that play. Second and seven with 10 seconds left. So here we are at the 42 yard line here on the. Uh, looks like uh, it looks on there on their own uh, 42 yard line, the Titans. And that one will get up, and that will kick, and that kick will be no good. It is really, really short. And that will be the half. So at halftime, the Colts lead it 10 to nothing here. And the Colts will have to definitely try to see if they can get that momentum back after they lost it there with Luck throwing that pick there, which was his 14th of the season. So we'll look at the halftime stats here. And there you see pretty much everything is going for the Colts there. 191 yards passing, 43 yards rushing. They definitely go back to the running game there in this ball game. So now first and 10 here for Locker and the Titans. Ball in the 20 yard line and that's going to be a short game there for McCluster. So you'll see here a little package there talking about Jake Locker and the day he's had and what a day he has had. And not a good one there as he's been sacked I believe three or four times already in this ball game here. And not, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's been taken out like no other. So here we go, third and five now for Locker and the Titans here. We'll see what they can try to convert for first down here. Ball in the 25, Locker looks, fires, throws a Hagen as Hagen gets that one. But wait a minute, we have a flag on the field here. What is it? Uh-oh, I think it might be Hughes again. And it is. It's roughing the passer on Hughes. I guess he did not get that uh, memo from Coach Teddy Bonds during halftime there. So Coach Teddy Bonds is going to have to talk to him about his aggression on the field. First and 10, ball at midfield. We'll see McCluster. He'll get the ball. He's going to run this one. Adams does a good job here of slowing him down and tackles him there for a gain. Only a five on that play as the Colts are trying to get defense, are trying to get off the field here. Third and five here. We'll see Locker. He'll drop back. He's going to look, and he will get hit, but he will, uh, for I don't know how in the hell he's still standing up. He throws the ball, but it'll be a complete pass, and it'll be fourth and five there for the Titans now first and 10 ball and 23 yard line now Allen will get a pass there from Andrew Luck as Luck will connect again with Allen there you see 101 yards with six receptions in the ball game and no touchdowns first and 10 here ball in the 41 yard line seven minutes left in this ball game here and we'll see Luck he'll look and he will fire to Reggie Wayne right there nice pass play right there from Reggie Wayne especially absorbing that hit there after the catch that's going to be a second and five here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Luck, he'll go back out. He'll fire this one. He'll throw the T.Y. Hilton there. That's going to be a nice catch right there. 226 yards there for Luck. He is 16 and 20 in this ball game already here with still no touchdown yet. So ball on the 43-yard line here for the Colts. And it's going to be a draw play here for Richardson as he'll get a nice gain there. And that will be a short gain of about six. Second and four here. Now Richardson gives his number called again. And that again, he'll go for another uh, about another 12 yards there on that play, making it first down. Ball in the 28-yard line now. We're in Titans territory here. First and 10. Again, draw play. But that time, the Titans sniffed out that play. There you see 14 carries, 56 yards for uh, Richardson compared to his numbers last week. So they're definitely uh, keeping an eye on Richardson and knowing what he can do. Third and 10 here. Ball in the 28-yard line with 3:35 left here in the third quarter. We'll see. We'll see uh, luck here. Uh, no uh, halfback there. Open backfield, and there you see nice catch there from Allen. As Allen will catch that one for a first down. We'll see the numbers there in the red zone. 
All two possessions in the red zone have scored a, either a touchdown or a field goal. So now still open backfield here. First and 10. It's going to be a shotgun play here. We'll see what luck has in store for this defense here as he's trying to move around some players here and move around some formations. And that nice play right here. Rich, or uh, I should say uh, Wayne there catches that one. That's going to be a first down there. Ball at the three-yard line here. So now with getting close to two minutes here in the third quarter here, again, Rich or Luck, I should say, not Richardson. Luck is, again, moving around his guys here, and he's going to throw this one. That one almost got picked off there, and that was close. Well, that could have been a pick six going the other way. We'll take a look at the replay here, and, yeah, he gets right in front of it, but bats it down. That was a dangerous throw there from Luck. So now second and goal here for the Colts here. Ball still on the three-yard line here. Again, Richardson, or again, uh, Luck throws this one, and he'll throw it to well as he'll catch that one, and that will be a touchdown right there. So the first touchdown of the day for Luck will get to his uh, fourth-string wide receiver there, and he'll catch that one for a touchdown. So the score now is 16 to 0, make the extra point, making now 17-0. Colts lead this one there you see, 59 yards and he was 6 of 7 on that drive. So now Locker here, here he goes throws a right and right will fumble the ball and Mathis will get him right on top of it. The defense does a great job here getting the ball back for the offense here and that's going to be first and 10 there for the Colts at the 34-yard line. And we'll take a look here. Nice catch right here. And, oh, but wait a minute. I think he might have been down before he uh, dropped that ball. We'll take a look here. Yeah, he was down. So this play, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets reviewed here and get turned over. We'll see. Here we go. The booth is going to make a review here. They're going to take a look at the footage here. We'll wheel two again. And there you'll see, yes, he did. He was going down by contact. And he was down, and the ball popped out. So this play might get overturned here, and the ball may be going back to the Titans, who will get a first and 10. We'll see here, and the referee says the play is overturned. So the play will be overturned, and the Titans will get the ball back here at the 32-yard line. Nice run play there. They can't do nothing with that one. And we'll see here later on. They'll get another chance here, first and 10. And they're able to get another rushing yard, about five on that play from McCluster. So after three here, the score is 17-0 to zero here, and we're going to the fourth quarter. Now third and one here, ball in the 37-yard line, pass play there to McCluster. A nice pass play. This is the same pass play that I believe the Browns used on us. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the team right after that, I can't remember who we played after the Browns there, they used that same play, that blocking play, that really ate us up there. And that, again, it got us again in this ball game. So now first and 10, ball on the 15-yard line here. We'll see what Locker and McCluster can do here. And we'll see here. Locker will drop back. He'll look. He'll fire. And that's going to be an incomplete pass there. And it's going to make it now second and 10. Coach Teddy Bond's thinking, okay, we got to stop him here. Third and inches here. Ball on the five-yard line here. Again, backs against the wall. They're going to have to see what they can do. And we'll see a nice pass play right in there. And it's going to be a touchdown. Titans get on the board here as Hugard gets that catch right there. And that's going to be a touchdown for Jake Locker and the Titans. So they are now down by just now 10 uh, if they can get this extra point here. And we'll see here. The extra point is up, and it is good. So now the score is 17-10, to 10, or excuse me, 17-7. And you see a score drive there, eight plays, 65 yards, or 68 yards on that play there. And uh, what a play it was, what a drive it was. So now first 10, ball on the 22-yard line with 8-13 left here in the fourth quarter here. Richardson, he's going to run here. He's going to lose some yards on that play. That's going to be a loss of three. And it's going to make it second and 13. We'll see the replay here. And the offensive line just got blown up there. And uh, really did a number on Richardson. So now third and nine here. We're going to have, to have a pass play here. Ball in the 24-yard run. We'll see here what Luck can do here as they're trying to run down the clock here. It's going to be a play-action play here. We'll see Luck. He'll decide he'll run his, himself and he'll slide there. 
and he'll get a gain of about 10 yards on that play there. That's going to move the chains first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line here now for the Colts here. They're in eye formation. This looks like it's going to be a run. They're going to try to run this clock out as much as possible here. As we'll see here, they'll hand off. It'll be a play-action play instead, and it'll be passed there to Allen, who gets not his hands on that one and gets batted down there again from the defender there. That one could have went the other way also there on that play. So now third and 10 here for the uh, Colts here. We'll see them, and they will try to do something on this play. Luck drop back. He'll fire there to Reggie Wayne. Nice play right here from Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne will get this ball, and he'll take it all the way down to the 26-yard line. Nice pass play right there. Something over about a little over 35 yards on that play, and that's going to get them definitely a first down here and definitely going to move the chains here. Still got to eat that clock up if they want, do not want the Titans to come back in this ball game. So we'll see Richardson. He'll get a handoff there. That's going to be a nice handoff there. That's going to be a gain of about, I believe we'll say, eight on that play there. Uh, it'll be uh, now second and, oh, second and one now, so a gain of nine. So now ball in the 17-yard line here, and we'll see again. They're going to run down this play clock to make sure the Titans do not try to get back in this ball game. That right there, that run right there is going to get a first down, and it's going to move the chains here to the 10-yard line, and it'll be first and goal for the Titans. So again, Richardson just doing his job here, what he is supposed to be doing here in the fourth quarter, doing his job here, running the ball and keeping that clock going. We'll see there how the, the fullback there, he'll get a nice catch there. He'll catch that ball at the three-yard line. That's going to make it now third and goal here. they got to try to see if they can punch this one in before the two-minute warning here. The ball at the three-yard line here. We'll see again. They'll run the clock, play clock down to one. And Allen, he'll catch this one for a nice catch right there. But unfortunately, that is not go for the end zone. And that'll be fourth and goal here. And they'll be forced to kick a field goal, which they do. And they'll get the two-minute warning there. And the field goal is good. 20-7 to seven now. Ball game here for the Colts. So the Colts will have to get the ball back here with less than two minutes here in the fourth quarter to the Titans and see if they can stop them here in any kind of way here in this ball game if they still want to be undefeated so now Jake Locker trying to go deep here he'll get sacked by Redding right there and they'll call actually a no huddle here this is actually the next play second and 18 ball in the 10 yard line again he'll get sacked right there nice play and they'll have to call a timeout so now the ball in the three yard line here third and 25 they're gonna have to go deep on this play here we'll see what they can do here Hopefully, Locker can avoid getting sacked here as Redding almost gets a hold of him. And that one will get better away from Landry as he'll bat that one away. And it'll be fourth and 25 here for the Titans. So the Titans have no choice, really. I mean, they could go for it, which they are, or could punt it. But So we'll see here. Fourth and 25, they'll try to go see if they can do anything here. He'll throw that one deep, and that one will get batted away like a fly. And the... Colts will get the ball at the three-yard line there. You see Locker not looking uh, too good there in that ball game here so far. So the ball on the three-yard line, they're going to hand off to Richardson, try to see if he can power this one in, and he does. That is a touchdown there, and that is Trenton Richardson's 31st touchdown of the season. As we'll see here, the replay with no problem at all, getting in there and on top of those uh, bodies there on uh, the offensive line there, he gets in there. And we'll get the touchdown there for this team. So the Colts decide, hey, you know what? Let's have a little fun. They're gonna try to go for two here. Coach Teddy Bond says, yeah, what? Why not? Let's see what we can have. We can get uh, two more points here. Make it 28 to uh, seven to make a three game or three possession lead here. And yeah, unfortunately, that is an incomplete pass there. They do not get the two points, and luck gets a little roughed up there. And Coach Teddy Bond's like, okay, we tried it, and we won't do that anymore. So we'll see here. Incomplete pass there. Just could not. The receiver could not get there on time. So they'll get the. Uh, they'll have a kickoff here, and they'll get the ball at the 27-yard line. And you'll see Locker throws a hunter there. He'll get the first down, moving the chains there. Ball at the 48-yard line. There you see a no huddle here. Here you go. First and 10 here. Now for the Titans here. They'll try to see if they can heave this one deep. That's going to be a fumble right there. But the offensive lineman for the Titans will get there. 
and get the uh, fumble. So now again, no huddle once again. They're trying to see if they can get themselves on the board here. They feel like they can get back in this ball game here with less than a minute. And Redding, and there you see Hughes will get the tackle, but there you see Redding will get the fumble. And that right there, right there, ladies and gentlemen, will be the ball game as Redding gets the fumble. And that will get the ball back to the Colts as Locker and the Titans tried a little too hard there. This game was pretty much already gone for them. And they kept going on no huddle and just did not have the right personnel. And the Colts will get the ball back here and will just go ahead and probably just kneel down here on this ball here to end the ball game, which you see here. They are in victory formation here, and they will go ahead and kneel on this ball here, and the score will be 26-7. The Colts will win this one and will go undefeated as uh, AFC champions here in the South Division. As you just take a look here, just got the last few seconds here before they kneel, and they will kneel on this right here. And the Titans will go down here in this ball game. And Coach Teddy Bonds will be very happy to see his ball club win this one in a very, very good way. Tough game, especially defensively at the beginning. But uh, everything started going clicking here towards the uh, latter part of the third quarter into the fourth there for the Colts there. So you see the score by the quarter there. And, of course, the Colts there doing their job and winning the ball game. So there you see just some of the highlights of the game. But most importantly, what a game it was for Andrew Luck there for him. We'll go ahead and look into the, some of the numbers right now. Uh, Andrew Luck in this ball game, 23 of 30, 229 or 299 yards, uh, one touchdown, two interceptions. Uh, Trey Richardson, 20 carries, 74 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Reggie Wayne, uh, seven receptions, 128 yards. Uh, Willen, um, he got that the only only touchdown we had for the day. One reception, uh, excuse me, three yards. Uh, Dwayne Allen, nine receptions, 116 yards in the ball game. Of course, Redding, two sacks, one that fumble. Uh, Hughes, three sacks, and uh, Chaplin, two sacks for him. So what a game there from offense, defense. Uh, the only thing that just didn't come alive was the special teams there. Um, so we had a pretty good game here. And honestly, uh, Coach Dave Bonds is very proud of his team here. And now all they have to do now is just get ready here for the postseason as they'll have a bye week here coming up for the wild card. And in the next episode, you guys, I'll have uh, no, uh, you know, just uh, news and notes about what's going on in the NFL. Uh, show you guys the awards, show you guys stats and all that kind of stuff here in the next episode as we uh, have a bye week. And uh, get rested up here for the uh, the which uh, the next uh, game, next round of games, which we won't know who will play after that game, um, which uh, which will be the divisional round. We'll find out who will play in the divisional round in the next episode. So uh, that is it, you guys. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, please hit that like button. Not to mention, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGN Net. Uh, you guys can uh, also follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. And as always, uh, thank you guys for j joining me. Definitely come on back for another episode here of Madden 15 Connected Franchise with the Indianapolis Colts. As we'll take a look at the wildcard matchups here in the next episode. As always, keep yourselves healthy and stick around for the stats. See you guys next time.